I start, it always starts with a conversation for me. And our desire is to make sure that we impact the world, the industry that's called higher education in a way that impacts the world, the student. So if I can find a partner that wants to make a difference in higher ed, then that's who I go with. That's who I focus on. That's who we're partnering with. Um, so through that conversation, I get to hear things like, you know what, our primary challenge is funding. We just need to make more money through this online mechanism. Okay, let's figure out how to do that in a, in a way that helps you bring the best that you have in your institution to the marketplace. Some people say, you know what, our challenge is we want to take the stodgy, mechanized thing that we use as higher education and breathe a little life into it for the next generation student. And for that purpose, okay, well, let's figure out how we can take what you do well, like your faculty development, your technological implications, the, the infrastructure of your system, and let's use that in a way that helps the next generation student through different means of technology. Maybe we use an outsourcer like um, Coursera or someone like that, or maybe we just help you develop whatever your technological, um, what, whatever your technology is, is necessary for you guys to do that thing. Many universities start there, they dabble with one or two online general education courses and they try to capture students that are home in the summer on vacation but they still want to take courses so instead of going to the local community college they can stay online with their main university there, there comes a point then in the middle when they decide to do their first online degree and after they've done a few classes online they get familiar with the university says well let's Let's do our, let's take our bachelor's of business degree and offer it online. And so that's a big decision point, you know. And again, usually it's a, an entrepreneurial leader, a department chair or a dean that pushes that action. Yeah. It usually doesn't come from top down. Yeah. And then in, that, in this middle range, they, they start adding one or two or maybe three online degree programs. And at that point, the president, the provost, start to realize, hey, we're doing online programming. We should get a strategy and an overall plan for our university to do this. Are we going to support it or are we not? And they're already into it by then in many respects. A lot of things are really to make sure you create content. On one hand, it really is focused on the online classroom. And in an online classroom, you have an opportunity to bring in resources from lots and lots of different places. Um, it's important that the instructor who creates that curates that information. He doesn't just he or she doesn't just randomly bring it together and say, "Oh, here's a YouTube video. Here's this. Here's that." He really goes to the effort to create that information and bring it together in a cohesive fashion, like it's. Um, like it's designed for the class.